Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're continuing on with the 2014 AP Calculus um, AB for your response section, and we're on to question number five here. So the twice differentiable functions f and g are defined for all real numbers x values of f f prime g and g prime for the various values of x are given in the table above. Find the x coordinate of each relative minimum f on the interval and justify your answers. Um, x coordinate of each relative minimum. Okay, so they got f f prime. So we have a okay. So the critical numbers are negative one and one. And then the slope goes from, uh, what, when is a minimum? The minimums are the slope goes from negative to positive. So negative to positive. So at x equals 1. Because f prime of 1 equals 0. And f prime of less x less than 1 is less than 0. And f prime of x greater than 1 is greater than zero goes from negative to positive that's sort of the first derivative test right b explain why there must be a value c between negative one and one such that the second derivative of c is zero well um if i look at f prime of one minus f prime of negative one over one minus negative one this is sort of the average rate and that equals 0 over 2, which is equal to 0. And um, f is differentiable and continuous. f prime is differentiable because f is twice differentiable and therefore continuous. Then by the, um, what is it, the intermediate value theorem? No, it's mean value theorem mean value theorem there exists a c between 1 and negative 1 such that this the derivative of f prime which would be the second derivative of c equals 0 so let's see that was a that was b let's look at c the function h is defined by h of x equals natural log f of x find h prime of 3 so h prime of x you got to do some chain rule here. Natural log of f of x is 1 over f of x. Then by then since the derivative is not x, um, I do the derivative of the inside, f prime of x. So h prime of 3 is equal to f prime of 3 over f of 3. And they tell you f prime of 3 is 1 half over 7. That's equal to 1 over 14. Okay, and let's do D up here. Evaluate the integral, negative 2 to 3, F prime, G of X, G prime of X, DX. So I'm going to do some U substitution for here to make sure I get this right. If U equals G of X, then DU is equal to G prime of X, DX. And so... This can be simply, and then let's say, then I change the bounds. U of negative 2, which is equal to G of negative 2. G of negative 2 is negative 1. And then U of 3 is equal to G of 3. G of 3 is equal to 1. So then this becomes the integral from negative 1 to positive 1 of F of U du or f prime and that's by fundamental theorem of calculus that's f of 1 minus f of negative 1 f of 1 is 2 minus f of negative 1 8 negative 6 okay so oh, that's all the parts so let's see how we look on question 5 x equals 1 is the negative positive, therefore a relative minimum, twice differential, mean value theorem, explanation is that, 1 over 14, and negative 6. Okay, cool. So we're on top of it on this question. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video when we uh, finish up with number 6.
Thanks for watching the video guys. I just want to let you know that I offer free homework help on Twitch or Discord. So uh, just stop on by if you have any homework questions or you just want to learn about different parts of math and physics and hang out. Hope to see you there.